Hey, this is Paul. This is a repair for Jason. This is a K4900 early version. Uh, came to me with the appearance of being dead. It actually was not. Uh, it had a break on the G2 voltage line coming from the flyback to the neck board. I repaired that and got it up and running. The break was right here. And that goes down to the wire to the flyback. So it could have been determined the flyback was bad, but uh, that's not the case. Because I came up here and I tested the G2 voltage. And the G2 voltage should be a few hundred volts there. It was getting uh, zero volts. So that's either a flyback or a crack in the neck board or a break in that wire. Turned out to be a uh, crack in the neck board right there, which I repaired and got it up and running. After I got it up and running, we had some fold over issues um, using the correct yoke for an early uh, 4900 uh, but it turned out there was a cold solder joint on one of these caps and in the vertical section and also the 100 UF cap that was installed should be a 47 UF cap and back here there's a right there right in the middle cap that's a a 2.2 UF cap was installed. It should be a 3.3 UF cap installed in these early models. And that cleared up the, the fold over on top. So we got a nice square looking picture now. And besides that, I, the cap kit was already done. I went over all the caps, made sure everything was tight and looking good. And all in all, uh, everything is working fine now. It's been on my testing rig for uh, over 24 hours with no other problems. So I will box this guy up and send it home. See ya.